Hi guys, and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can add the moon and stars into your photos using overlays in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download a photo of the moon, and I've got a link in the description for one of my favorite overlays, and then go ahead and just choose a background photo. And today I'm going to be working on this photo here. And what I want to do is to place a nice big moon in the sky just above where the house is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my uh, uh, desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the photo of the moon. And I've got a photo here. Again, guys, this particular photo is in the link in the description. And what I wanna do is drop that onto the background photo. So I'm gonna drag that and drop that there. You can also file place a photo on here as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the anchor point, I'm gonna make it to the size and shape that I want it. So I'm gonna turn it slightly and I'm gonna raise it just above the house. And what I'm gonna do is once I'm happy with the placement, I'm gonna go ahead and click enter on my keyboard. But as you can see, you've got this black square around it and we don't really want that. And it's the easiest way to remove that is by using blending mode. Instead of trying to cut it out, use blending mode instead. So what I'm gonna do is gonna to go to our blending mode options. I'm gonna go from normal I'm gonna go all the way down to screen. I'm gonna choose it like so. But now I've got this haloing. So how can we get rid of this haloing? What we're gonna do is we're actually going to use the curves adjustment layer. So we're gonna go make sure we've got our layer selected, the moon layer. We're gonna go down to our adjustment layers icon. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose curves. Once we've chosen curves, we want to right click on the curves adjustment layer and we want to create a clipping mask because we only want it to affect the moon layer, not the layer below it. Once you've done that, what you want to do is go to the left-hand side of your curves layer and drag it over to the right. And as you can see, now that particular haloing and hazing has disappeared and it's left the moon as you can see here. And now you can do add in a variety of other things such as stars or anything like that by using Photoshop overlays. And there we go, guys. 